We study the binding interaction of the MUSH4, MUSH5, or MUTES gamma heterodimer with different DNA substrates designed to mimic meiotic recombination intermediates. In panel C, we show the binding interaction between MUTES gamma and an open junction. The open state is achieved by introducing six mismatched base pairs at the junction center. To monitor the changes in structure, we use Forster Resonance Energy Transfer, or FRET, and attach fluorescent dyes to the five prime ends of two of the junction arms. The efficiency of energy transfer from the donor to the acceptor dye corresponds to the distance between the junction arms. The transfer efficiency is determined from either the fluorescence lifetime or the intensity of the donor dye. We measure the lifetimes using time-correlated single photon counting, where a shorter lifetime signifies an increase in energy transfer efficiency. In the presence of the acceptor dye and the protein, the donor has a shorter lifetime consistent with an increase in energy transfer and a decrease in distance between the arms. Steady-state fluorescence measurements confirm the effects seen in the time-resolved fluorescence data. In this case, the increase in energy transfer is shown by a decrease in donor fluorescence and an increase in acceptor fluorescence. The donor acceptor molecule with protein bound has the largest changes in fluorescence and the greatest increase in energy transfer. The time resolved and steady state data agree and indicate the distance between the arms decreases upon protein binding. These results tell us that the protein actively stacks the open junction into a conformation that is not capable of branch migration or exchange of genetic information. We use an electrophoretic mobility shift assay to assess the integrity of the samples after measurement. In these gels, the free DNA runs faster than the protein-bound DNA, and under our conditions, we have a stable, fully bound complex at a one-to-one -one ratio. These findings and those presented in the supporting materials indicate MUDES gamma stacks the junction into the two possible stacked conformations equally. Functionally, this suggests that mutes gamma is not the source of the asymmetry needed for crossover formation and exchange of genetic information.